Again, thank you so much for tuning in to Raiders Report. You guys can follow me on Twitter, at MitchellRenz365. That would be greatly appreciated. Those are my news. I talked about some rumors. Now i got a fun little segment for you guys that I think you're going to enjoy. Five Raiders who could play for the Golden State Warriors in the 2018 NBA Finals. Well, I know probably a bunch of you guys that are listening are Warriors fans. I know our CEO is, and, well, the Warriors are up 2-0, and there's a lot of hype around the NBA Finals. So let's get right into it. The first guy in that starting lineup who I think I would put on the team center, but it's going to be Colton Miller. This guy is an absolute monster. Miller is six foot nine, 309 pounds, and is plenty strong. With 24 reps on the bench press at the combine, he's very athletic for the tackle position, which I think could translate to him being a great center for my team. He is a road raider in the rush game, able to leverage his size to easily move defensive ends and outside linebackers out of the way. And I think ultimately that could make him a solid guy being able to box out dudes and just lead to a ton of rebounds and second chance points for my offense. The NBA comparison I gave for Colt Miller, Mark Gasol. And I just want to show you some of his uh, combine stats that Miller had, you know, just so you can get a better idea what kind of athlete Miller is at 6'9". That 40-yard dash time is pretty elite. The vertical is definitely higher than what I could jump. And a three-cone drill, he's going to be able to move around in the paint pretty well, being able to block some shots as well. Next guy coming up I got in my starting lineup, power forward, Khalil Mack. The ultimate team guy, Mack's strongest asset in his, is his ability to contribute across the board. He has a substantial wingspan with a strong frame and is unafraid to bang with the bigger bodies. Mack gives me the confidence to be a decent shooter as well. His vision, I'd imagine, would be great because he finds the holes in defenses, so why not on the court? A terrific rebounder, thanks to the combination of aggressiveness, motor, and a big frame. High football IQ translate to high basketball IQ, at least... I would imagine so. Great leadership skills, characteristics, and would make him overall, he would make the team just better in general. My NBA player comparison for him is Draymond Green. Now let's check out some of his NFL Combine results. Mac, the thing that jumps off the page to me here, his vertical, 40 inches. That's insane for a linebacker. He's going to be able to throw down some sick dunks. I want Mac playing defense as well. Next guy I got coming up, my small forward. I'm going with OB. Melon Fonwu. So this is a guy who I've talked about a few times being just an absolute freak athlete and that athletic wing and remarkable wingspan and his huge hands. He's still in the venomen he's still in that developmental de stage and he has amazing mobility and body control for a guy his height. I feel like Obi would be able to change directions off the dribble and with the ball in his hands, he has incredible smoothness and quickness, getting to the rim while maintaining excellent balance. His athleticism and wingspan make him able to cover four positions on the court, showing great versatility. Give me a guy like Obi, and yeah, the, the guy who I'm going to compare him to is Giannis Antetokounmpo, like the Greek freak, and I think when you just look at overall skills like Obi, I mean, this four, like, look at this guy's combine. 44 vertical, 141 broad, 17 on the bench, 4.40. Yeah, he's, he's a freak, that's for sure. There's no doubt, no doubt about that, the UConn freak. The guy I got coming up now in shooting guard, Jordy Nelson. This one, uh, this one's pretty awesome, and yeah, I'll be honest. Give me newly acquired Jordy Nelson to be my shooting guard. He's a competitive guy who I think would bring it on both sides of the court. Also, Nelson played in high school. Yes, I did my homework. He was an All-State basketball player, averaging 17.2 points per game in his senior year. My NBA player comparison for Jordy Nelson, Clay Thompson. Duke can shoot it, so can Clay. And then, yeah, here's his NFL combine results. The three cone is the one that really jumps off the board here for me. 7.03. He's going to be able to slide his feet really well. Going to be a solid defender, just like Clay. And then, last but definitely not least, the point guard, Derek Carr. So this is one that maybe not be too surprised for everyone but the point guard on the football field is the quarterback Carr reminds me of Steph Curry both guys are 6'3 and know how to dish the rock and score I think pass completions and assists are fairly similar right just saying Carr had 323 pass completions to Steph Curry's 310 assists from this past season Carr is also a great athlete who I think would play better defense than Steph sorry Steph all, all I'm saying is, watch out, Curry. Carr may be coming for your job really soon. Now, I want you to show you guys real quick, Derek Carr, that he's not just a quarterback. He's a heck of an athlete as well. That 20-yard shuttle, 4.2 seconds. A 40-yard dash time, basically the same amount as Khalil Mack is uh, kind of why I wanted to go with a guy like Derek Carr. And now I'll just show you a listicle of my entire starting five. I got Colt Miller at center, Khalil Mack at power forward, OB at small forward, and then I got Jordy Nelson at shooting guard and Derek Carr as my point guard. 
But guys, I want to know from you. Comment below which Raiders player you think could actually start on the Golden State Warriors and could help the Warriors win another NBA title against LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to the Raiders Report. Remember to subscribe to the new Oakland Raiders channel on YouTube. That'd be greatly appreciated. And don't be afraid to throw me a follow on Twitter, at MitchellRens365. And until next time, go Raiders.